Viper TFCFSR here. And today I am going to be reviewing Kingdom Galvatron. But first, before I take a look at him, he came with a pretty cool card in the form of Dynamus. Now, I have the sticker on all my other Dinobot cards, but I took it off this one because of uh, how unique this one is. I don't have a Dynamus, so yeah, I just took this off the sticker and I uh, just kept it in my card pile the the card I put the sticker on my shelf but yeah finally got something new you know right back on to this guy himself this guy is covered with an amazing purple color as well as gray, black, and just gray and black, and some silver as well. And orange here for the, um, uh, what's it called? Barrel. Which is, oh, oops. Which is, in fact, last effect compatible. Because why wouldn't it be? You can have him being all, all of his bad comedy greatness. Uh, he has treads, but... Honestly, I don't really see people using this as a tank. Because he never turned into a tank in the movie, show, whatever. He didn't even transform in the goddamn series. The Kingdom one. So, this might be accurate to the show. We don't know. Because Hasbro decided to be lazy. And not put transformations in for all of the characters. They have some, but not much. But I'm by going off G1, I don't remember him being a tank. He might be. I'm just saying I'm going off by memory. I don't remember him being able to roll. I just remember him being a static cannon. Now that I'm done talking about the cannon itself, um, the accessories start on him. This stars up here, and the cannon stars right here like it should be. This looks fine with or without it on, but honestly, I don't know. I find them both equally as good on and off. Okay, now that's enough for the accessories. Now size comparisons. Here he is with Cyclonus. Here he is with Optimus. He's a big cannon. Here he is with Inferno. Wow. He just And the next one is just going to look hilarious. Here he is with Kingdom Sideswipe, and that is just... Wow. Massive cannon. 
Okay, now it is time for transformation. So first, just want to remove these, these. Then you want to come here and untab the skirt pieces. And then bring these all the way up. After you're done with that, just bring these in. Then fold up the feet. And then when you're done that, here, let me bring the camera down. And then you want to do that. Oh, these the cannon. And then now let's do the feet. Just split the feet apart. Straighten the legs. Take these, and this little thing here is going to tab into here. There we go. And then you want to fold out these heels. Then you want to do the second thing. Same thing on the second side, what I meant to say. Go and then flip out the heel. And there we have the bottom half all done. Then we just want to do this. And then straighten the legs until they're like that. Then you want to open this. And then get the head out like so. Okay, then you want to straighten this. Mm. One second. Okay, you want this, you want this thing to go in here. Um, okay, uh, one second. There we go. Then you want to snap the back in, tap that in, and then you want to take this, tap that in. Uh, raise this piece. Oh wait, no. You want to do that and then tab that in. Like so. Okay, then you want to raise the arms. Put those to the side. And then turn them around and make sure that all this is tabbed in. There we go, and then I just want to undo the forearms, oh, make sure these things here are straight. Uh, hmm. Do the 
the second for this side as well. And there we got Galvatron. Not quite complete. You just want to do this. And then do that. And then you can plug it on whichever one you want. I like doing this. Yeah. Uh, everything is basically here from the canon mode. There's really no new stuff except some uh, stuff there for the shins and more visible battle damage. Uh, oh yes, the head. That is a really nice Galvatron head. I like it. Articulation. Uh, if you don't untap that, you can go up. can go up that far, which, wow, that is just amazing. Head can go up that far, down that far. Uh, we get waist swivel. And then a kick to about that far. And then a kick back that far. And then some knee. Sorry if this gets out of frame. I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, alright. Uh, now it's time for robot size comparisons. Okay, first up we have Optimus. And wow. He is a massive boy. Uh, let's do Inferno next. And oh my gosh. I know they're about the same height, kind of. Just a head smaller. And then here comes the funny one. Jesus. So much smaller. I still love Kingdom Side Swipe though. Oh yeah. Uh, this guy's gonna be my next review by the way. And here is... Kingdom Cyclonus. Overall, this guy is a pretty solid figure. I love this guy. I'm glad I managed to get him for non scalper prices. And when I mean that, I mean 100 plus dollars. Because this guy is just an ordinary leader class. He's nothing special. He's not an exclusive anywhere. Well, this specific version isn't. He's just a leader class figure in a mainline. That's all he is. But a really good one. In my opinion, the best Galvatron to ever come out. You know that that has been my review for Kingdom Galvatron. See ya. See ya next time.